Here is one tip about complaining. Don't do it. I mean, practice not complaining. Seriously. Complaining is ineffective and a waste of time. I know that I've done it. I know that you've done it. So instead of beating yourself up, change your perspective. Ask yourself if you're really trying to find a solution rather than complaining. And if you are, then you might need a sounding board. So call up a friend or a mentor that can help you find a solution. One of the many things I learned in all the leadership positions I've had over the years is you're trained to find solutions. You're trained to manage a lot of people with all their different personalities. And it's a huge honor and growing experience, which by the way, leadership is a continuous learning experience. But okay, I get your point. This video is not about leadership. All I'm saying is that leadership helped me not complain. When you find yourself frustrated with a situation or with a person, just ask yourself the following questions. Number one, is it time for me to find a solution at this moment considering that I'm really triggered? Because if you're more invested in your current trigger, then you need to learn to take care of yourself first to take care of your central nervous system. Number two, if you're not too triggered but frustrated because you cannot find a solution, just park your complaint. Go for a walk, take a break, or get some good laughs. Because in that moment, your brain needs to stay away from the analytical mind when you're trying to force a solution. Number three, instead of complaining, how do you want to feel inside of yourself? Sometimes you may not be able to find the solution to your complaint or your problem, but you do have control over the way you want to feel, how you want to experience this moment. When you can step into the feeling of who you want to be, then everything else will fall into place. These are just a couple of tips to help you step into the authentic, beautiful individual that you want to be, and that is leadership. So if you're interested in working with me but are unsure about having one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching sessions with me, beginning May 6th from 6 to 7.30 Central Time USA, and for the month of May, it's all about self-care. I'll be using a neuro-emotional process, and I'll be also tapping is something I'm going to teach you all, and you're going to learn the skill sets to self-regulate and take better care of who you are. So if you're interested, you can email me at mindsetmatterswithsandra at gmail.com, or go onto my website and register, become a VIP member. Every week I send out offers and other information on what's coming up. This is a wonderful way to get started. It's a small group that I have every Monday night and I think you'll really enjoy it. It's in a safe environment and we are all ready to make some changes and work on some subconscious patterns to help you bring in the life that you desire. For more of this content, follow me.